Hi, brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit. Thanks, DigiKey. This week, our old friends, yay, Arduino, they're back. They're, they're, everyone's making hardware again. Everybody's back we're making hardware. Doing we're doing this again because we, we always do this thing. Um, so, Arduino, uh, what is the new product introduction the NPI of the week? Okay. This week? I'm excited. This looks really cool. And then, um, you know, Jackie emailed and was like, hey, have you seen this? And I was like, I have. And in fact, I'm going to cover it for INPI. It's the new plug and make kit from Arduino, um, which I love for like six reasons. I love this. We emailed them today. We're like, we're going to do this today. Do it's plug and play. There's so many sensors. It uses quick slash demo QT. It's got Wi-Fi, and it's the same price as the Arduino starter pack. So let's get into what's going on. Arduino, you know and love them because of the Arduino Uno. You know, what is it now? Like 15 years old. Um, yeah. This board yeah, started, started everything. Um, the thing that was so great about this board, and I've done so many talks about it, is you can program it with any computer. You just need a USB port. You don't need any commercial compilers. People used to pay for microcontroller compilers. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Hundreds of dollars uh, for a copy of Keel. Uh, so it used GCC compilers. Um, it was easy to write code for people with lots of examples. But the most important thing, in my opinion, was those socket headers that are labeled. Um, having the socket headers meant that people could plug in wires into a breadboard and like, you know, low cost premium wires or like hand cut and stripped 22 gauge solid core wires and would allow you to make, you know, very fast and easy prototype circuits. So you wouldn't have to like make custom PCBs. You wouldn't have to um, solder together perf boards. You wouldn't need any tools at all. You just need a breadboard, cost five bucks, uh, a couple of through hole components, still easy to get and some wires, and like this is from, you know, our Simon Monk tutorial on blinking LED. Um, historically, a very complicated task, but like made so easy because you could just poke your your wires into um, the power supply and GPI opens. Um, so building on that success, Arduino released um, the starter kit uh, also oof, 10 years ago. Um, and we made it for a while for them too in, uh, yeah. in New York. And um, what's cool about the starter kit is, again, it was like everything you needed to get started uh, with doing electronics and microcontroller and programming. You got LEDs and sensors and buttons and like motors and transistors and all well, the wire kit, the breadboard. Um, so you didn't need a soldering iron and you didn't need a hot air gun. You didn't need any tools at all. You could do this just at your computer desk. Um, great for students. It was really popular as a gift for students and people who wanted to learn making. Um, and so the next generation is here. This, um, you know, the, not that this Arduino starter kit isn't still totally valid and great, especially if you want to learn uh, breadboarding and you want to create custom circuitry. But if you are interested in something really easy, even simpler, um, less wiring stress, less worries about like how to use a breadboard, you can really just plug it and make this new pack um, comes with uh, the new Uno R4, comes with set seven sensor boards, a base, and Arduino Cloud, so you can make internet-connected uh, products and projects with, like, within an hour. So first up, instead of the Arduino Uno, which was based on the Atmega 328, and now it comes with the M, uh, sorry, the Arduino Uno R4 which has a Renaissance processor on it, the MA4, I believe is the part number, and um, an Espressif coprocessor for Wi-Fi wi and Bluetooth. USB-C still has some standard headers, uh, has a built-in 12 by 18 onboard matrix, so you can scroll you know, text or updates or graph your sensor data, which is really nice, because um, you can have things be very standalone. And we covered this. Look how young we were. This is like a year ago, Phil. Look how young I was. <laughs> No, we were still pretty stressed back then. Uh, this was uh, in 2023, almost exactly one year ago. We covered... Oh, sorry. Um, right what? Everything's so different now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, we covered the R4 Minima and the R4 Wi-Fi. We have so much more space. Remember how cramped we were? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So now we can actually like put our arms inside. Um, and one of the things that's great about this board is on the Wi-Fi, they added a JST-SH I2C connector which um, is also known as Quick. Um, I think we call it STEMIQT because it's we made ours 5-volt compatible, so it's slightly different, but it's still 
back and forth mm -hmm. quick. There's also a bunch of, like, there's Pico and there's other, just a bunch of other very similar, same connector, cross-compatible standards. Grove. Um, Grove you can use also with an adapter cable. Gravity. Gravity also, I think. The, we have a uh, yeah. guide about all this. We have a guide about it. Which We made ours the most compatible. That's what our goal was. So that's what we did. But there's no, there's now easily yeah. 1,000 different I2C sensors that you can all plug and play right. from OLEDs to GPS to accelerometers, temperature sensors, distance sensors, and more. Um, what's great about this is you can plug and play and chain together sensors. You don't have to worry about addressing or uh, special protocols. You just plug each oh, in, you know, as long as you only have one of each type, which is pretty common. Usually you don't need two GPS units. Um, you can connect pretty much as many as you want. Um, so this is a big request from us. If you look at previous Arduino days, we said, please, please, please. Every, every time we're like, can you please, please, please do this? And please, we did. Please. So they find it. Um, so their new system is called Modulino and you get seven Modulinos with this board, um, starting from the top, uh you know like whatever top left there is a um lsm60 sox six off imu inertial measurement unit below that is a vl53 xcd distance sensor i think up to four meters uh laser distance sensor there's a hdc 3003 when i saw humidity and temperature sensor there's a piezo buzzer a uh, rotary encoder with button, three buttons, and like an eight neopixel you know, strip type thing. And for the top three, um, those have I squared C built in. For the bottom five, the buzzer, uh, sorry, but four, the buzzer, encoder, buttons, and, and pixels, uh, there's an onboard uh, STM32, like C0 something something processor, very similar to our Seesaw design which apparently people really like because there's a lot of variations now very similar low cost i squared c expander uh and they have arduino and uh, micropython code libraries ready to go um but what's nice is that you can auto detect which uh board is plugged in uh so you have all these variants um and they also give you this really cool plate that you can okay. uh, plug the boards onto and there's mounting holes that the mounting standoffs um, and because they think they must have used like one by two centimeters, it looks like, um, cause they're European, uh, it's very easy to, um, oh, arrange yeah. the boards. I think it's, yeah, it's, I mean, I think, uh, Sparkwood uses one inch by one inch. They use one centimeter by two centimeters. Um, I personally prefer 0.7 yeah. by one inch. I don't know. Everyone, I mean, it, it doesn't matter. The connector is the same, even if the mounting hole are slightly different. And there's tons and tons of content, free content. Yeah. So, you know, sometimes you have to like buy a thing to get the tutorials, but at Arduino, it's really nice is they're free. And not only are they free, but you don't even have to buy ahead of time. So if you want to go check out the kinds of stuff you're going to learn, you can go and look at the projects now. Um, so lots of different projects where you plug it in. Some are offline and some are online. You will need a computer to program it. Um, you can use their cloud editor. So you can use a Chromebook, you can use um, Mac, Linux, Windows. Or of course you can use the desktop IDE. Yeah. I like folks in the chat are saying, like obviously Arduino was inspired by this stuff Adafruit does, and we're happy, we're glad. This, this, this is they're like, oh quick and you know, obviously like quick and stem. It's, it's it's great. You know, it's interesting. It's like I I saw quick and people were telling me it's really good, and I was like, I didn't kind of get it. And then after two years, I was like, oh, this is yeah. a really good idea. And then I like I went all in, like the, I redesigned all of our sensors. The best thing that companies can do is show respect for their users and do stuff that just works better together. They didn't come up with something new that isn't back compatible. Their stuff works with Adafruit stuff. In, in the past, Arduino has done that, and I'm glad they, they're going in this direction for this. Although I will warn that those modulinos, they don't have an onboard regulator. I This is one thing. Mm. Well, maybe next version. So you can only use it with 3.3 volt microcontroller boards, but here's the thing, 95% of boards are 3.3. So. Mm. Just a, just a warning in case you try to plug them into an Arduino Uno, just make sure you power them from 3.3 mm -hmm. volts. Um, and then here is, um, this is an example board. You know, they show you how to make this water light sensor. Um, maybe it's a UV sensor. It tells you when it's uh And you out. can use it in a phone. Yes, and I think they probably even give you like... You, you can know, do a 30-day maker uh, monthly yeah. plan for free, and then they have other uh, paid ones. And the cool thing is, is that not only do they have tons in stock, but it's the same price as... The original starter kit, it's like $85, right. which is a great deal because you get this like Cortex M4 
super ram super flash five volt friendly microcontroller board um the when i saw the ra4 based board with wi-fi and the led screen and all the accessories that come with it yeah you get a lot of cables, the mounting plate, and then seven sensors. Like if you added up what it would cost to get all those separately, it's a deal. it would be like twice as much. So it's a really good deal. And because it's like so easy and plug and play, this is good for almost any age. I'd say like, you know, eight year old plus. You have a 20 month old, she's using it all the time now. Yeah, you just because you have to plug it in. Um, and then yeah, you can get started programming it so quickly. Um, no breadboarding, no wires, no like, yeah. oh, did it's I get for it? Classroom right? settings, yeah. It's great for classrooms, great for classrooms. Okay, um, we're gonna play, they have a really nice video and then we'll see you on the other side. That is this week's INFPI. Cool work and good work, Arduino. Yeah.